hello it is finally happening a movie that i have been waiting for forever to watch is coming it's coming this film has been out it's a french canadian film and it's been out in canada they had a limited release last year and finally i was waiting for it to do its festival rounds and then show up here and today i'm gonna take you along as i see wait for this title humanist vampire seeking Suicidal person. No, got it wrong. Humanist vampire seeking consenting suicidal person? I think I got it. <laughs> I got there in the end. Believe it or not, this is classified as a fantasy comedy horror drama. So <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a genre bending experience. And French Canadian horror is. It's about a young woman vampire who is unable to kill because of her morals, but she does need blood for food. So she may have found a solution when she befriends a young man with certain tendencies. This is really interesting. I just watched this film called Next Exit, which deals with end of life, tackling it head on with kind of a romance. And I wonder if this is gonna be quite similar. I wonder if this, situation ship that they get in. I don't know if it's romantic, I'm just making that up. It could be totally platonic, uh, whether that's going to change their views. All of this is spoiler free because I have no idea what's gonna happen. So even though it seems like a pretty straightforward concept, which is a weird thing to say, but if you're a horror fan, you get it. I do really feel like there's so many different ways this film can go. And I'm excited and I'm hoping that I'm gonna like the characters and enjoy everything in between. The movie had a bunch of wins during its festival rounds and I haven't seen anything else by this director so I'm very keen and curious what we're about to witness. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go see vampire, humorous vampire seeking consenting person, maybe. <laughs> Hi friends, I just got back from <laughs> Humanist Vampire Seeking Consenting Suicidal Person. Did I get it right? I don't know. Um, that film was super cute. It was very different to what I expected, but in saying that, I did not watch the trailer. We had a little foreword from uh, one of the co-writers who was talking about how it's a bright film, and I did not consider it to be a bright film at all. And also they're doing special uh, Valentine's Day releases across some limited cinemas, uh, and I expected it to be a little bit more on the like leaning into that kind of aspect, especially being, I guess, the blurb, which it's, I feel like the film is a little bit different to that, but not in a bad way at all. The movie is about uh, a girl vampire. Um, it opens up to her and her family and explains the dynamics, which I really liked sometimes with vampires and it's either all law or, you know, very sinister and you don't really understand what's going on. It's a little bit ambiguous with the background and what kind of vampires and what these vampire rules are. They set it all up for you, um, but I, I just feel like they give you enough information that you can go off the characters with that. But it's also really interesting because she's not a normal vampire and the story is more about that and it's more of you know, human <laughs> issues transferred into vampirism and vice versa when uh, we look at her relationships with normal people. So it was it very well explained, the lore of the vampires at the very start, definitely not a spoiler, um, but moving into it, it's the dynamic between the humans that is a little bit iffy, but I, I like that because it was more of uh, I guess a, a comment on how we relate to each other, which I thought was really cool. And because it is doing screenings as a Valentine's Day screening, I thought it was going to be more of a romantic kind of film, and I don't think so at all. Although, again, 
I think that the vampire relations could be seen as usually it is, as a metaphor for that. Um, I found this film to be quite a platonic film, which I really enjoy, and I know a lot of you guys really enjoy them in horror movies as well. They always seem to be the best ones. So the movie follows uh, this girl who is a vampire, born into a vampire family, um, but she has a problem with, or she has too much empathy, I guess you would say. That's not really usually a problem, but it is when you're a vampire. And then we follow her journey. It's a funny movie. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's very, uh, I guess, um, just glides on that top layer. Although, obviously, with the title, they're dealing with some serious circumstances. But it tries to keep it quite light, which is a really interesting way of approaching the subject matter. And obviously, that's very intentional, that it's a light way of looking at just dis more disturbing topics. And it's just a very dark, moody slow building story. I didn't find it too thrilling or um, too intense in the gore department, anything like that. It's more about this profile story of the character. I felt that the temples of the film were really interesting. I had no idea once they had set it all up where they were going to go with the story and it felt like several times they could have ended it. It just kept kind of going on but not in a bad way. It just was like where is this going next? Oh, okay we've got an additional scene here and an additional scene here and I felt like there was no poetic kind of wrap up although there is you know it has a very definite ending. Um, I, I felt like it was more to do with the concept than the actual story arc or character arc of the main character. So it's one of those movies that if you really like the character, it's just watching more of them in different situations than anything that is, I guess, given to you in a neat box and feels very complete. I think the cinematography was the most interesting part of this film. It was shot, uh, it's very moody, it's very dark, obviously. <laughs> they, they like the dark in these movies. It's very dark, but it also has a really low f-stop and it's very much you know, shadows and tones, and um, it feels really uh, like ungraded and unfinished. And I kind of liked it. It was a, it was looked very indie, but it um, had a really nice appeal to it, which made it feel more realistic. Which I think is important to do with anything that is bordering on fantasy. So I, f I felt like those moments were really cool within the film. It was very dark and like gothic, which it makes sense. But there's so many different ways you can do vampires. I really liked uh, a lot of the direction in the film where we were kept on two people, even one person, for almost too long to really see that awkwardness that all those human characteristics come out and reveal themselves instead of, you know, a nice swift shot where you get a reaction. It really just holds on that for so long, giving this kind of awkward realism to it, which I absolutely... I, th I just, it matched. I really liked all the choices um, and different interactions they included in the film. It helped make something that seems such an you know, a fantasy again, but like an unbelievable situation and it really puts it into the everyday quirks of humans, which I thought was very clever. Overall, I found it to be a really cute, offbeat, quirky vampire film. It was different to a lot of other vampire films I've seen. Really enjoyed the setup and it's a very easy watch, although I would say it's a little bit slower than I expected. Uh, as long as you grasp onto the characters and they speak to you, I think you'll have a great time with it. But if you're not a fan of slower films with not as much action, um, more about, you know, re relationships and me metaphorical ways of showing that through vampirism, probably not for you. It, this one is going to definitely split people and I think people who love it are going to absolutely die for it. Um, it was a really cute watch and very offbeat and I just loved the performances but more so, as I said, the direction and how it came together. There's a lot of thought put into how they were going to present these characters and I think that they nailed that. I'm going to give this one a personal score of 7 out of 10. I thought it was a very interesting story, uh, a little bit slow, but the characters were interesting and I was along for the ride. For originality, I am going to give it a 8. I think the way it's conducted is really interesting and I am dying to dive into more of this filmmaker's work. And for scare, I'm going to give it a 2. It's not scary. I wouldn't say it's scary at all. If you have friends who aren't into horror movies but you want to kind of show them what's possible with more elaborate plots and heightened 
like moody atmosphere within horror but you don't want to show them anything gory this is the film for you you might just win someone over especially if they like foreign film obviously let me know what you've been watching lately and let me know if you've seen this film i would love to know your score down below and guess what i just celebrated 10 years on youtube with a live stream if you missed it you can check it out right here stay safe and stay spooky bye friends